Hi, love. Welcome if you're new or welcome back. If you're coming back, this is Ro and I felt called to share these messages for you if you're feeling low to really serve as a support for you out of your highest and best intention. And if you've never done a pick a card reading before, um, what I tell people to, or what I invite people to do is to really just follow your gut and what you feel drawn to energetically. Um, these piles are here for you for whatever you feel called to choose. And sometimes you may be drawn to one, sometimes you may be drawn to multiple. There's no right or wrong. And just know that these are all here for you to hear, for you to grow and to really, like I said, support you when you're feeling low, because that's um, the intention of this reading. And then um, if you've never also done an Oracle reading before, just really be open to the messages and, and just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is a collective reading, and so the messages may not re resonate with everyone, and that's totally okay. Um, there are so many beautiful um, readers out there and messages out there, and I just invite you to feel what feels good for you and, and what messages you're open to receive at this time, and just allow yourself to experience. And I always love to start off with intentions before moving into um, your reading. Um, so how this will flow is that um, if you could click on the timestamps below, you can go straight to the pile that you feel drawn to or piles that you feel drawn to. And when we start each pile, I'm going to go ahead and play the bowl just to really ground us into our body and really allow you to um, take some deep breaths for yourself since sometimes we can forget to breathe and, and just really center ourselves through our breath. And then we'll move into a reading and then we'll see where spirit and, and the universe flows from there. And when we allow ourselves to move through these readings and experience and listen to these readings, just really take into account that you have a choice to choose which card that you want to move through. And so that's why I'm so grateful for you for clicking play, for being here and for choosing to be here because that is truly such an honor for me to have you be a part of my journey and for me to be a part of yours. And so here are the cards. Feel free to meditate on them, look at them, or if you just feel really drawn to one, just go ahead and click the timestamp in the description box below and allow yourself to just really move through however you want to experience these readings. I personally like to um, be productive while I'm listening or I fall asleep to these readings and really just have these be a reminder for me to, to really help me move through whatever it is that I'm moving through. And if you are moving through some difficult and uncomfortable situations at this time, I'm really sending you um, a big hug and so much love and may these messages help support you on your journey to really help you um, raise your vibration or whatever your intention is for today's message. And so before or, or without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and move into pile one. Hi, pile number one. Thank you so much for being here and for choosing this pile. This is um, just a reminder that this is a collective reading and, and all the readings may not resonate with everyone and really just take what resonates and, and leave what doesn't. This is also a timeless reading. So whenever you click on this is when you're meant to hear it. So what I love to do beforehand is to just ground ourselves into our body with three deep breaths. And so if you're in a space to do so, you can close your eyes or if you're not in a safe space to do so, um, just allow yourself to really focus on your breath. And go ahead and take a deep inhale through the nose and expand out the mouth. Taking another deep inhale through the nose, expanding your belly and setting an intention for why you're here. And exhale out the mouth. And let's go ahead and take one last deep inhale together, inhaling your intention into your heart space and holding it for a moment and exhaling your intention out. And 
beautiful thank you so much for taking those breaths for yourself and really just allowing yourself to to notice your body and observe your body at this time we all have that ability to do that anytime so just remembering to inhale through the nose and exhaling out the mouth is what i love to guide people and to remember people to do even i need that reminder every now and then so now let's go ahead and move into your reading and so before this i i felt called to just pull the cards that were meant for you and the same for all the piles and so really allowing yourself to see what messages comes up and again taking what resonates and leaving what doesn't and so something's telling me to go ahead and just start with these cards and really see what the overall energies are right now and, and what messages that you need to hear in terms of um, numbers and guidance. And so, ooh, spiritual partnership, change and relationship change. Wow, okay, well, that's definitely a, <laughs> that's definitely, um, a surprise, but not a surprise because it's such a beautiful... Um, it's a beautiful experience to have change, even though it may feel really uncomfortable sometimes. And you know, when we go through changes, we also change relationships because when we shift and, and shift our vibration and, and allow ourselves to really step into ourselves more, then we attract different people um, who are more attuned to our vibration. And so, um, People who are here, you, you know, you are, whether you know it, um, a healer or um, you're very spiritual and that's why you're also attracting these relationships that are part of your soul tribe. You know, this spiritual partnership, these are people in your soul family and your soul tribe and you're really attracting these people so that you can allow yourselves to experience that unconditional love and experience that, that those lessons that you are here to experience and when we allow ourselves to change and shift and really move through those uncomfortable moments um, and really allow ourselves to go within rather than running away from them and, and fighting them and, and not allowing ourselves to address them that's when we can um, really let go of old patterns that no longer serve us. And, and when we do that and we allow ourselves to release those old patterns, we can learn new ways and new patterns that are more of a higher vibration, more of love, more of unconditional love, more understanding, more compassionate, and, and just bringing that overall joy into our lives through ourselves when we you know love ourselves first and then when we love ourselves first we attract other people who love themselves too and are really becoming more conscious of themselves and really tapping into that spiritual partnership within themselves so that when you are in that spiritual partnership with yourself you're also attracting that as well and people who are open to that and so when we um see the number five five really just means change and so that's why both of these say change um the number two for me is about um the mind and and perspectives and seven is about um spiritual growth and so really allowing to yourself to shift your perspective to see things from um a different lens and allowing yourself to be an observer rather than judge um, that's how you tap more into that uh, spiritual side of yourself and really allowing yourself to be open to the magic that the world has to offer. <laughs> and when it comes to number six, six is all about healing. And I really feel strongly that our relationships are our biggest teachers. <laughs> and even though, especially with the relationship with ourselves, you know, it all starts with ourselves. And so taking these moments, if you notice yourself, attracting certain people in your life that are maybe triggering you or causing you to feel uncomfortable um, I invite you to really take a step back from them and remove yourself from that situation either mentally emotionally physically if you can I know sometimes it's hard for people to distance themselves physically from somebody else at this moment um, just really allowing yourself to be an observer rather than jumping to conclusion, uh, conclusions and judgment and, and you know, really assuming, taking, taking, yeah, yeah, assuming. So 
<laughs> not assuming what people are moving through and, and really listening, taking that time to listen. And I feel like you're you're attracting people who are there who genuinely and authentically listen to you and, and want to hear you out. And um, some ways you can tell that people lis are listening is that when they when they don't try to control a certain outcome or, or don't um, you know, dismiss what you're sharing with them, but really just um, allowing themselves to hold space for you. And, and you know, it's really challenging you to receive that too, just receiving that unconditional love, that listening, that, that um, relationship that maybe you didn't have before. And that's part of that change is shifting out of relationships that, you know, weren't really, um, having you feel safe or having you feel heard or, or relationships that try to control you and now shifting into these relationships that are more aware, um, tapped into their spiritual side, more intuitive and, and really just allowing yourself to um, move through that um, after this change and uncomfortableness is moving through, which is might maybe what you're moving through right now since um, um, this the title of this is all about, you know, giving these messages for when you're feeling low. So if you are feeling low right now and you're feeling like you're going through a lot of change and you don't really know where to go next, um, Spirit's guiding you to um, let you know that you can trust in the universe and just allow yourself to let these relationships fold, unfold, these um, this change unfold, even though it may feel really turbulent or really uncomfortable in the moment and just know that you are divinely protected and so this message has a specific message on the card well actually both of these do <laughs> so i feel called to pull this bird message oh it's so interesting that there's this purple here also um there seems to be a <laughs> no there is a theme so blue blue green purple that's all about speaking from your heart um speaking with um discernment and from your intuition um, because blue is associated with your throat chakra and purple is associated with your crown and your third eye sometimes it's well it's mostly third eye um but i know third eye is like violet and the crown can be purple i i personally see crown as white and then um third eye as purple but yeah it's interesting that there's this smidge of purple <laughs> here in this feather and I'm really curious to see what bird this is because I've never seen this card. Oh, a heron. This card says, let go of convention and follow your own unique path. Yes, because when you follow your own unique path, you allow yourselves to attract other people who are also following their unique path. And even though we have our own unique paths, we're also here to help each other and collaborate and create together. And so when we follow our own unique path, we're following our authenticity. We're following what feel, fills um, us up with joy and love and laughter. And when we collaborate and, and partner up with people and relationships who do the same, um, then we're just raising each other up. And, and that's where abundance comes in, when we allow ourselves to um, be open to grow together instead of um, you know, being jealous of somebody else who may be having the success that you want um, or maybe being jealous of somebody who's being authentic. Um, and that's something I personally <laughs> went through in 2021. I was, I was very jealous of somebody and uh, it was because they were getting so much financial abundance for what they truly love to do. And I was jealous because I wasn't realizing that that was something that I could do for myself. It's, but everyone has their own unique path. And so just trusting that and, and we're all here to be abundant and to share that abundance with each other if we allow ourselves to shift our perspective into that abundance mindset and, and out of that scarcity mindset so that's beautiful i love the heron 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 i feel like i'm saying that um <laughs> correctly but it's what it is yeah it's more like a blue blue gray with a smidge of purple that intuition cool and last but not least this card is for um soul lessons and, and soul journey lessons at this time so what is what you are moving through at this time? Oh, wow. That's so funny. We literally were just talking about abundance. 
<laughs> and so this card says i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality heck yeah you can yeah it's look at this there's all the beautiful colors there's a lot of those blue agains and those purples and red red orange i mean it's pretty much the rainbow here i mean there's there's no yellow in here um but still it's just when you when you step into your authenticity you're also stepping into your power but really being rooted in yourself rooted in your body and 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 being grounded in your body because when you we balance that groundedness with you know connection to your intuition and to spirit um that's when we can live from that balanced heart space and to just allow ourselves to um remember that we are limitless we can create whatever the heck we want if we put our mindset and our perspective and our and our heart into it and our joy into it and whatever um you want to magnetize in your life i know here it says manifest but i really have been resonating more with the term magnetizing because um for me i i truly believe we attract who we are so that's why i um uh, really um a huge proponent of like doing the work yourself going within you know taking that time to be with yourself especially if you are feeling in this low point right now it's okay like it's okay to be low this is all part of life and um you know whether we're feeling anxious or sad or or lost that's all part of the process to really help you unfold and and to bloom and and one of the quotes that i really love um is is that that or at least the vision of a seed in the ground it's completely dark the same as like the butterfly before the butterfly becomes a butterfly it's in a cocoon it's really dark and so knowing that even though you're in this dark low point at this time whatever it is that you're moving through it's all part of that process for you to to bring in this abundance for you to step into this authenticity and follow your own unique path because this is part of your path and even though like i said we have our own unique paths um we all are also experiencing these emotions um that are very similar and so even though you know i might have had a different situation that caused me to feel anxious or lost um i can understand and relate and that's really where that change is coming again bringing in these relationships that are understanding and compassionate and allowing um them to have that safe space for you it's just whether or not you're open to receive those relationships so i love this card so much i'm so happy that we got this <laughs> and so i am so grateful that you are here pile 1 and thank you so much for receiving these messages i i just want to um end our reading um to let me know that um you are here and and if you want to share that it resonated with you go ahead and drop um a bird well wait <laughs> no don't drop in a bird emoji cuz they all have birds <laughs> go ahead and drop a purple heart <laughs> in the comments so let me know and um, really just again shifting those perspectives and being open and 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 trying out new things trying out new things and letting yourself move into that change with with grace and embracing this change um really allows you to move through it in a in a more graceful way um and with more practice of embracing the change it it gets um something that um isn't as difficult although when we fight it's it's like the river you know when it, would you rather try to go up the river um and go against the stream or would you rather just go down the river and flow down the stream easily and and with ease and flow so um before we close out i would love to um thank you again for choosing to be here and um like and subscribe and comment if you resonate and and also it's the easiest way to support my channel and for all of us too it's it's the easiest way to support all of us to help spread these messages to others who may need them as well And so again I would love to close out with the singing bowl and just close out with three deep breaths really integrating these messages for today. And so if you are in a space to do so, you can close your eyes. And if not, it's all good. But go ahead and take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth.
Taking another deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. And taking another deep inhale through the nose. And exhaling out the mouth with gratitude. Thank you again so much for being here. And let me know if you want more videos like these. I love um, sharing these on um, live. And there I also have one other video as of right now. So um, if you feel called to, feel free to check that out. And I will see you next time. Bye, love. <laughs> Hi, Pile 2. Welcome so, <laughs> welcome so much. <laughs> welcome to your pile and thank you so much for being here. I just want to remind you that this is a collective reading and it may not resonate with all of you, um, but take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And this is also a timeless reading, so whenever you click on this is when you are meant to hear it. And um, I would just love to go ahead and start off with our reading with three deep breaths with the singing bowl. And so if you're in a space to do so, to close your eyes, go ahead and close your eyes. But of course, if you're driving or anything like that, please don't. <laughs> and so go ahead and take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. And take another deep inhale through the nose as you set an intention for yourself for this reading. As you exhale out the mouth. And as you take another deep inhale, really allowing yourself to notice your body and observe your body as you take this deep inhale with your intention in your heart space. Go ahead and exhale out. Just knowing that every inhale and every exhale is something that we all can do anytime. Just really setting that intention to have that deep focus and that allowance to just be with our breath. And so every time I I'm noticing myself feeling low or, or just really having an, a tough time in life, I just remember to take a few deep breaths and, and to really just center myself. And so I hope that was of uh, good support or not good support, support for you <laughs> before we go into our reading. And again, thank you so much for being here. I'm excited to see what messages are here for you through this time. And I just want to start off with these three cards because um, these are the ones that are the overall energies of your reading. And so the first is, ooh, surrender. Oh, I'll show you this to you. Surrender. And then we also have, oh, healing. Beautiful. And then the last message is, ooh, music. So... For all y'all who are listening here, then uh, music is definitely a big part of your life. Whether it's listening to music, playing an instrument, being a musician, singing, I feel like that is very linked to how you heal and where you are in your healing journey at this time. Just really bringing more music into your life really is going to help you move through this low point in your life or wherever, whatever it is that you're feeling at this time. And just taking this um, moment to surrender for what all that is coming towards you and I know that there's a lot coming at you right now and, and, and a lot of emotions may be coming up or or maybe you also could be feeling numb at this time because you maybe felt too many emotions and you just didn't know what to do with it anymore um, but really just surrendering yourself to feeling emotions or, or at least just observing what it is that your body is going through or, or what is coming up in your body because we all experience um, emotions differently and sometimes when we don't know how to move through these emotions we can either block them out or just fight them or or avoid them and so when we allow ourselves to surrender when when we get 
um, in these uncomfortable moments and in, in, in these emotions of anxiousness or, or feeling lost or maybe you'd be feeling sad or just really going through a lot of grief, just surrendering to the process and knowing that this is part of your healing journey because when we don't allow it to ourselves to feel our emotions, um, that actually um, is something that my quantum coach likes to call emotional debt. And so when we don't allow ourselves to feel emotions, that gets trapped into our body. Um, I'm a certified emotion code practitioner. So um, in our practice, in our studies, we study trapped emotions and release trapped emotions that are trapped in the body. And so these trapped emotions get trapped because we don't allow ourselves to feel the emotions that are caused by like really heartbreaking events or traumatic events. And also I just want to have a disclaimer that I'm not a um, you know clinical psychologist or therapist. Um, and I'm, I'm um, energy practitioner and, and um, channeler. So just wanted to put that disclaimer out there. <laughs> so, um, but, but recognizing that, um, you know, all of us have gone through a lot of trauma, um, whether we know it or not, um, especially if you had a childhood that was really rough. And so um, remembering to surrender to anything that may be coming up that feels like you're repeating from your childhood, just observing it and allowing yourself to um, be in that observation mode and that awareness help will help further you to experience these emotions and let them flow rather than trap them and um, you know, causing that emotional debt for um, physical, mental, and emotional discomfort that'll come five, 10 years from now. And so um, I know these past couple of years have been a lot emotionally with this whole pandemic. And so um, many, many of us have really gone through a cracking open and awakening during that time because we were experiencing so many things and so many emotions that were buried within us. <laughs> and so we were being forced to, to look at them and to face them when, when we were in that moment of um, isolation. And so again, really allowing yourself to surrender and nine, nine means closing chapters and one is new beginnings. And so when you allow yourselves to surrender to closing these chapters, um, you allow yourself to begin new. And that's all really part of your healing journey. It's, it's being more aware, allowing yourself to remember that you are a healer, whether you know it or not. Um, that's something I also said in pile one. But I mean, truly, I believe that um, we all are healers and we all have the power to heal because all healing is self-healing. And that is something I always emphasize whenever anyone does an energy session with me is even though, you know, we're doing Reiki or I'm doing emotion code or sound healing, I just always remind people that all healing is self-healing. And when you allow yourself to be open to receive that healing, that's when you allow yourself to really move through these moments of surrender and change and shifting. And so speaking of sound, um, <laughs> that's why music came up because sound is such a powerful way for you to move through this surrender and just allowing yourself to return to a flow state and to allow yourself to um, be be um, just in flow and, and into that music or whatever it is that you enjoyed being in flow in, whether it's um, playing an instrument, like I mentioned earlier, like, you know, many people who play instruments or sing or, or perform music at, of any time, they're in that flow state. And um, <laughs> before, um, or a couple weeks ago, I just watched Soul again, that amazing movie. And um, it really just, I cried so much too when I watched the movie again, even though it was my second time, but just really finding that spark through music and allowing yourself to um, remember that we're all musical beings too. Like even, um, even though you may not sing or anything like that, your voice is such a powerful tool. So allowing yourself to sing, even if it's like by yourself in the shower, nobody else has to hear but allowing yourself to sing, share your voice, share your song, because we all have a heart song too. That's what, that's personally what I believe. I believe we all have a heart song and when we allow ourselves to sing and express ourselves through our voice and through music, and we can really let go of some of those blockages that are in our throat, um, which is also um, a big part of why um, it's important to, well, um, 
I'm just gonna say that this is blue, but this is this is the color that's supposed to be linked to the sixth chakra, the third eye chakra. But I mean, since this is blue, blue is also associated with the throat chakra. So just allowing yourself to communicate also, that's part of the healing journey too, is just communicating and allowing yourself to be honest with yourself. That's the most important thing. Just being honest with yourself, communicating to yourself first. Um, and, and allowing yourself to, if you communicate with somebody else, communicate from a space of neutrality and, and to respond rather than react. And so if you are in this low state right now, um, take it, it's important to take this time for yourself and, and to center yourself before um, taking that step to, to communicate or to share whatever it is that you're sharing because um, that's part of the process of surrendering. It's just instead of trying to force something and, and to try to make people understand you and, and to maybe maybe you're in this moment of feeling like you're misunderstood, um, just taking that moment to sit with yourself and, and surrender to some things that maybe you aren't facing and some things that you aren't being honest with yourself about. So, oh my gosh, I gotta, I was squatting so I had to move my legs. So let's see what bird is here for you. These birds have a beautiful message for you. So I'm excited to see which one this is. Oh, the pheasant. The time is ripe for creation and connection. Focus your attention in these areas. Yes. Yeah, this is this orange color is all about creativity and, and really allowing yourself to be creative during this time. Um, again, maybe that for you that looks like music um, and just allowing yourself to let yourself create without judging yourself. That's the most, entire, uh, the most important thing at this time is to not judge yourself and to just create what you feel you want to create and what brings you joy. And really connecting with other people who are creating too, and just in cultivating those connections who are also creating through sound um, and and through healing, um, and and just really allowing yourself to build that community, um, whether it's in your city or it's online, or whether it's both, um, just allowing yourself to trust in these connections that you're making because they're here to help you through this journey of healing and surrendering and and being more creative at this time how beautiful yeah focus has also been a big um energy that's been coming through too just um if you've been feeling all over the place maybe you've been feeling lost and that's partially why you're feeling low or or whatever it is that you're moving through right now this is a message for you to focus on being creative and connecting. <laughs> um, and again, when it comes to creating and connecting, do remembering to do that for yourself. And when you do that for yourself, um, and, and when you connect with other people who create, who do it for themselves too, um, it can open up doorways and unfold doorways of co-creating together that um, feel aligned Oh, come on. that feel aligned and um, just are full of blossoming um, connections and creativity. I don't know if that, if that made sense. I literally just don't remember what I just said right now because I'm just channeling this all and, and I'm probably not going to remember any of this. But this is a soul journey card <laughs> for you. And we got, ooh, gratitude. Beautiful purple and greens. Oh, just this is a card that literally keeps coming up in my readings. Um, but just remembering to be grateful for where you are and where um, you've been. And these opportunities that you're going through, whether it's um, low right now or you're, if you're feeling good or neutral right now, like all of these opportunities that you are experiencing are meant for you to um, experience learn how to expand and grow and, and heal and, and just tap more into that creative self of yours. And even though, um, if you're, I mean, we definitely, you definitely are an artist. If you've had moments in the past where you feel like you failed with sharing your artistry or, or, you know, I know many artists feel like they aren't successful because they didn't, weren't able to sell or, or share their work and, and receive feedback that they wanted to receive. 
this is an invite to just release those expectations and just be grateful for all that you've done because you have done a lot in your life and you have created so much in your life and sometimes we forget that like I invite you to take an audit <laughs> to um really reflect on what you've created in your life whether it's for hobby or if it's for your job and just allow yourself to sit with yourself and and write down all the things that you've created whether or not it failed or succeeded or whatever your perspective is it's just remembering that you've been through a lot and um with every moment and every experience has caused you to be here right now listening to these messages moving through this together and connecting with people who are creative like me <laughs> so i thank you for being here to connect with me and to listen to these messages again and that is all that i have for you pile two before we go ahead and close out i would just love to take three more deep breaths before we go into pile three so if you can go ahead and close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so and take a deep inhale and exhale really being grateful for where you are right now in this present moment and may these messages serve you of your highest and best purpose as you take another deep inhale through the nose And exhale out the mouth. Taking one last deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Thank you again for being here and make sure you leave a music note emoji in the comments if this resonated with you and if there's anything else you feel called to share, I would love to hear your experience and, and what came up for you through this experience. And um, if you'd like to support, the easiest way to support is to like, share, and subscribe and know that these um, when you do this, you also help spread the messages to others who may need these messages as well. So I am sending you so much love. Thank you so much, Pile 2, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. Thank you so much for being here. And again, I just want to remind you that this is a collective reading, and so everything may not resonate with you. And just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And also, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you click on this is whenever you're meant to hear it. And so before we go ahead and begin your readings, I just want to go ahead and start off with an intention with a singing bowl. So if it's safe for you to do so, go ahead and close your eyes and take a deep inhale through your nose and exhale out the mouth. Taking another deep inhale as you set an intention for yourself today of why you chose to be here. And exhale out the mouth. Taking one last deep inhale as you set your intention into your heart space, expanding the belly and noticing your body. Exhale out the mouth. Again, thank you so much for being here and I'm looking forward to see what messages are here for you during this time to really support you of your journey and whatever it is that you're moving through at this time. I've been really feeling called to start off with these three cards, which is the overall energies and messages that are here for you. And let's start, oh, ooh, karmic completion. Oh, I always love it when I get this card because this is the only card that has this gray background in this numerology deck. And so one is new beginnings, zero is closing out cycles. And so um, just whatever, you may, you may be feeling um, like you're completing a karmic really, uh, cycle with a person in your life. It could be romantic, it could be platonic, familial, 
um, just but just knowing that there's an energy here that is huge and is completing and ending and so kudos to you i know you might be going through a lot right now um since these messages are here for you if you're feeling low um so remembering that when we're going through this we're, we're really un we're taking down what we were doing and, and what energies that were part of this karmic cycle and so we're clearing it and and bringing in new um energies that are here to support us on our journey of highest and and um highest and best intention and so we also have communication wow look at this beautiful yellow yellow solar plexus chakra <laughs> i know it's communication and i know communication is usually with the throat chakra um but really here it's the message is to um communicate with power and with authenticity um, and when it comes to power, it's just having power with yourself, standing up for yourself in a loving and compassionate way. Um, I know many of us have had the story when, as we grow up, like power is corrupt or evil, but we are shifting into this age, um, an era where we are stepping into our internal power for, um, all of us to step into our authenticity. And so communicating really big message at this time Ooh, self-discipline this is a message definitely for me also <laughs> um but if you have difficulty focusing or really sticking to one thing um one project and uh, this is this is a reminder for you to be disciplined and and to really allow yourself to step into um step into a routine again um if you're not already in a routine maybe that looks like um taking three deep breaths in the morning when you wake up or doing a five minute meditation before you go to bed whatever routine you feel called to do um this is just a reminder to to do that maybe you've been thinking about doing something every day or wanting to do something every day that that really helps and benefits your mental health emotional health um or physical health just um, I invite you to really sit with yourself to figure out what that is because um, we all have different ways to to we all have different ways that we can better ourselves and this is just a, a reminder to also um, to also consistency is key <laughs> That's essentially the message I've been trying. I was trying to blurt out, um, but yeah, consistency is key. And you know, with with all, all the small steps that you take, it is allowing you to build up into a bigger, bigger picture. And um, you know, when you climb a mountain, it's one small step at a time. And then when you reach the mountain, you're like, oh, okay, that's that's what happens when you do all this every single day. Um, and to just um, be disciplined instead of doing it every other day or like once a month that's when you really see that progress even though you don't see it in that present moment um you're, you're gonna look back one day out of like after the 30 days or or 40 days or 90 days and, and be like oh wow that's how i was before um and now look at all of this that i've done in, in because i was disciplined in in that and so it doesn't have to be huge well, you know, you don't have to meditate for an hour every day. You can be like for five minutes a day. Well, I guess like the guess the me <laughs> message here is to to really go within and meditate and try that out. And if you've never meditated before, um, uh, I will just let you know um, that when I first started, I definitely had a hard time shutting off my brain. So if you're someone who's like, oh, I can't really meditate, it's so hard for me to shut off my thoughts because I have so many thoughts. I totally understand you and I've been there and so taking the time to you know start five minutes a day or going what I did was I went to group classes so I went to group meditations um, there's a lot of resources on YouTube that'll help you meditate I've been wanting to come out with a meditation um, myself actually I take that back I am coming out with, <laughs> with a five minute morning meditation that's definitely in queue so um, it, if you're wanting to move through that and experience that let me know in the comments below because that is one of the many videos that i have in queue for you and and what i want to share with all of you so yes 
anyways, coming back full circle with all of these. Let me shift <laughs> my legs. Uh, going full circle with all of these. There is um, possibly also um, a person coming back to communicate with you with this karmic completion. Um, that's really going to test your self-discipline of, of whether or not you want to go back into the cycle or if you want to break free from it. And so allowing yourself to step out and observe and, and whenever this communication comes in, um, taking a moment to observe so that you don't react, but going within if you do feel uncomfortable or shocked or anything um, and allowing yourself to... Um, work through that internally, communicate with yourself internally, seeing what um, what feels right and aligned with you, and then communicating that if you choose to communicate, because they also have a choice to not communicate. Um, so taking that moment to, to practice that self-discipline too, that's another form of self-discipline that I keep getting um, through as a message. And so when it comes to this completion, Sometimes it's, um, well, not sometimes, all the time. Uh, every time we complete a karmic cycle, um, it's allowing us to start a new cycle and, and we get to choose what that cycle is because we are creating our lives and we are allowing ourselves to create this path that we want to create. And so with this, I want to pull this. Oh, actually, no. I've been pulling the bird, but for some reason, I, I want to pull the soul journey card. So... Ooh, surrender. That's so funny. Pile two got this in this deck. <laughs> so um, you maybe you feel called to go to pile two and listen to pile two as well. Um, but surrender. I can release my need to control. Yeah, some of you are being tested to um, not be controlling <laughs> and to not control the outcome or the situation, um, which is part of this completion. Um and that discipline is just allowing yourself to be open and not have any expectations um, and to just be you and just do you <laughs> and not needing to control anyone else or change anyone else or change any outcomes, but just surrendering to what feels good to you um, and and what feels aligned with you and, and just keep practicing that um, because they're also... Um, there is a balance between releasing your need to control, going with the flow, and discipline, and you know, sticking into that schedule and keeping that as a schedule. And you know, sometimes when we are trying to be self disciplined or when we're moving through the practice of self discipline, you know, it doesn't have to be right at 8 a.m. Gotta do my five minute med meditation. You know, sometimes we got we wake up at 9 a.m. and then we do it then, or sometimes uh, we forget it and end up doing it at night so just allowing yourself to go with the flow and be easy on yourself and be gentle with yourself as you move through that self-discipline and also um when it comes to this communication a message i'm getting is that you know we don't have to reply right away <laughs> um and we don't and we're, if we send a reply back to somebody you know letting go that need um, and that expectation that, that they'll reply in a certain time. And then when they don't reply in a certain time, you get disappointed. And then um, then you get angry. And, and that's definitely something that's happened with me. And that's why I'm sharing this. And so surrendering um, any expectations for replies and communication too. Um, and also all of this. It's just I invite you to release any expectation. Because even though I'm sharing this message with you, um, um, when we let go and not have any expectations, that's when it comes, you know, it comes when you least expect it. So beautiful cards. We have um, a lot of reds and yellows, purples. And so this bird, I was gonna, almost going to flip it, but this bird has a message for you too. And birds are such a beautiful um, animal messenger of the heaven and the earth. So I love, I love this deck. I, I love um, Ashlyn for giving me this deck. <laughs> Shout out to you if you're listening to this. And so what message do you have? Oh my gosh, the owl. No, I just was shaking the card because I was so excited. Your intuition is correct. Follow your inner wisdom without fail. Yeah, I mean, that's going with the surrender card. It's just, you know, purple is related to your intuition. The third eye 
and um, this is a confirmation for you if if you've been having intuitive nudges that um, your intuition is correct um, and sometimes also our intuition gives us messages that uh, may show up in different ways <laughs> in this first plane so again going back to really seeing the um, expectations and the surrender um, because sometimes our intuitive nudges um, may not show up exactly how we think it's going to show up in, in this plane. Um, however, whatever it is that you've been intuitively being nudged to, just re reminding you that um, you are wise. And um, whenever we tap into our intuition and practice more into tapping into our intuition, we also um, communicate and attract other people who are um, following their intuition as well. And maybe you're somebody who used to be really analytical or maybe you still are analytical. You know, you work with um, um, a lot of overthinking energy <laughs> and, and think about situations a lot that could go this way or that way. And so when we have those moments, that's when it's really important to go within and have that discipline to meditate and to um, be centered before we move forward and, and just... Um, take any action or have any expectation and observing anything like that before um, moving forward and, and not reacting but responding instead <laughs> and when we allow ourselves to um oh also i wanted to say that owls are beautiful magical creatures <laughs> of wisdom and um they're very wise because they see in the dark like so right now you may be feeling in the dark um now i'm kind of like questioning if like wait do they <laughs> really feel in the dark um <laughs> but just knowing that um when when you are in this dark phase or or in a low phase that's when you're really being challenged to let go and surrender instead of fighting it and when you allow yourself to swim um down the river and flow the river instead of going up the river i literally said, said that same exact message in pile one um then really allowing yourself to do that allows you to unfold um in a much more graceful way <laughs> um and you know it is messy it is uncomfortable going through these emotions um sometimes but when we when we practice that surrender and letting go um you know um i was learning about the art of Wu Wei, which is the art of letting go, um, when we allow ourselves to focus on, um, when we allow ourselves to focus, um, on something else, then that's when it comes in. So, um, whenever you have these moments of feeling like you're trying to control something, or if you're trying to force a certain outcome to happen, um, that's a sign for you to just, um, take a moment, pause, take three deep breaths so you can observe yourself and allow yourself to um, practice that self-discipline of going within and, and um, surrendering into that, into that um, release for control. So those are all the messages I have for you today, pile three. If this resonated with you, I would love for you to leave an owl emoji in the comments. And maybe if you feel called to share, I'd love to hear what you went through through these messages um and i just wanted to share that liking subscribing and commenting are the easiest ways to support this channel and to also help support others spread these messages so whoever else may need them can receive them and i would love to just close out with three more deep breaths with a singing bowl to help ground and integrate these messages that you received today and again, I thank you so much. And if you are in a space to do so, go ahead and close your eyes and take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Taking another deep inhale through the nose and exhaling out the mouth. And taking one last deep inhale through the nose with so much gratitude for you showing up for yourself today and receiving these messages. 
and exhale out. Until next time, love. I appreciate you and I'm sending you so much love. Bye. Make sure to subscribe, okay? <laughs>